One of the common terms used in structural engineering is cantilever. Cantilevers are usually referred to horizontal or almost horizontal structural elements that have an unsupported end. Cantilevers are commonly used in various structures around us, such as apartment balconies, tower cranes, road signs, certain types of bridges, and even aeroplane wings. So what makes cantilevers special? Well, their design can become challenging for engineers when they are long or heavily loaded. To understand the difficulty with cantilevers better, you can try stretching your arm horizontally and try holding a book with your stretched arm. You can feel the downward movement of your arm right away. So let's see what the challenges are. Cantilevers deflect much more compared to elements that have supports at their both ends. To show the difference, let's assume a beam which has theoretical fixed support at each end. This beam, under a uniform downward load, will have a maximum deflection in the middle. Let's call this value delta. Now, if we remove one of the supports and keep everything else the same, this beam will deflect about 48 times delta at its free end. The cantilever will also deflect about 10 times more than a beam which has two pinned supports. These are significant differences, that is why deformations can be significant in cantilevers and hence they require a careful design. In terms of vertical vibrations, a cantilever beam fixed at the end can have a natural frequency of about one sixth of the same beam having a fixed fixed support condition. Vibrations can become a major design factor in steel frames or floors with sensitive equipment. Cantilevers need a bigger section to resist the bending too. Using the previous example, a cantilever will have 6 times more moment at its end support compared to a beam which has fixity at both ends. That is a lot of extra bending which will require a bigger section or additional reinforcement. Let's not forget a more expensive connection too in case of steel frames. A cantilever's deflection is directly related to the stiffness of its support a good example can be cantilevers that are being supported at the end by a column through a rigid connection. In these cases, since the column will also bend as a result of the cantilever moment, cantilever will deflect even more. Oftentimes, a less experienced designer may try to simplify the design process and use a textbook fixed support instead of the actual column stiffness. This may result in an underdesigned deflection situation. So how do engineers deal with cantilevers? Well, oftentimes we can use the back span members to reduce the cantilever deflection. Cantilever with a back span is much easier to design. Now you may ask what a back span is. Back span is a continuation of cantilever beyond its support. By having a properly designed back span and a proper detailing to ensure continuity of member over the support, the supporting column may not have to even be moment connected to the cantilever anymore. Depending on the various load and stiffness configurations and length of members, the cantilever end may even move upward instead of downward. However, in any case, cantilever deflections must be within code limits to avoid damaging of the finishes or cladding. Also more common in non-building structures, we can add a compression or tension element to help supporting the cantilever. As you can see, the cantilever is now supported at an extra point. Use of these supports is not common in buildings given the fact that it will be architecturally unpleasing. Something interesting to know, many of the tower cranes use a combination of tension supports and a back span. They also use concrete blocks to counterbalance the loads. Well, that was it for this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a great day or night.